A person takes a hit to the head, feels fine, and walks away. But within an hour, they collapse. That's the terrifying reality of an epidural hematoma and why minutes can make the difference between life and death. I'm Dr. Gary Krauss, a neurosurgeon and founder of the Krauss TBI Institute in Houston, Texas. In the next few minutes, we'll explore what an epidural hematoma is, why it develops, and how to recognize the warning signs and why urgent treatment can save a life. This video is for educational purposes. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, you should immediately seek prompt medical attention through an emergency room or other medical providers. An epidural hematoma is a type of traumatic brain bleed or hemorrhage. It forms when the blood collects in the small space between the inner surface of the skull and the dura mater, the brain's tough, protective outer covering. The bleeding creates a pocket of blood that takes on a distinct lens or biconvex shape when it's imaged. This trapped blood rapidly increases pressure inside the skull, compressing the brain and interfering with its normal function. How does this happen? Most epidural hematomas occur after a direct blow to the head that fractures the skull and tears an artery, most often known as the middle meningeal artery. Because this is an arterial hemorrhage or bleeding, the accumulation can be very fast, sometimes measured in minutes rather than hours. Common scenarios include sports injuries, falls, bicycle crashes, and motor vehicle collisions. Even a seemingly minor head injury can cause significant internal bleeding if the right vessel is damaged. Let's talk about the lucid interval. One of the most deceptive features of an epidural hematoma is the so-called lucid interval. A patient might lose consciousness briefly after the impact, then wake up and appear completely normal, talking, walking, and interacting. But as the bleeding continues, brain pressure builds until symptoms return suddenly, often with dramatic neurological decline. This temporary improvement can fool both patients and bystanders, leading to dangerous delays in care. Warning signs include a severe worsening headache, nausea or vomiting, confusion or unusual behavior, weakness on one side of the body, and a dilated pupil on the side of the injury. These symptoms indicate that the brain is under dangerous pressure and that emergency medical attention is needed immediately. Calling 911 is usually the best and safest response. The diagnosis is made using a CT scan of the head, which clearly shows the biconvex shape of the hemorrhage. This shape is key to distinguishing it from other types of brain hemorrhages, such as subdural hematomas or intracerebral hematomas or subarachnoid hemorrhages. Early imaging is critical. Even a short delay can mean the permanent brain damage. In many cases, urgent treatment is required. A neurosurgeon performs a craniotomy temporarily removing a section of skull to evacuate the clot and stop the bleeding. The goal is to relieve the pressure on the brain as quickly as possible. Condition can be fatal. In closing, I'd like to say that epidural hematoma is one of the few brain injuries where every minute truly counts. Recognizing the signs and acting fast saves lives. Thank you for watching.